Hi guys, welcome to our daily encounter. One of the inevitable things that would occur as the people lived in the new land is the fact that there would be battles. There would be a contest between them and other nations as they lived in that land. And Deuteronomy chapter 20 kind of covers what they were to do under those types of circumstances. And it starts out like this in verse 1, When you go out to battle against your enemies and see horses and chariots and people more numerous than you, do not be afraid of them, for the Lord your God who brought you up from the land of Egypt is with you. And that kind of summarizes uh, what the chapter is all about. The Lord who brought you out of Egypt from the land of Egypt is with you. And as you go through the chapter, uh, I really love the fact that victory is just assumed. Uh, he talks about, it talks about, you know, the priests encouraging them uh, into the battle. But then it gets into this section where it's like, you know, if a person's built a, built a house, you know, send him home. And if a person is uh, just gotten married, send him home. And if a person's afraid, you know, go ahead and send him home too. It's almost like, you know, you don't really need a lot of people. Uh, the Lord your God is fighting for you. Uh, you're good to go. Don't worry about amassing this huge army. Uh, you know, if people have other things going on, just send them home. Uh, really, it's the Lord your God who is battling these battles for you. And it really reminds you of uh, Judges chapter 7 with the, the with Gideon's army, right? That uh, God had them dwindled down uh, so that they wouldn't receive the glory. Uh, very similar to this right here. But not only that, um, as you go on, it talks about basically there just being two options whenever an army would come up against them. Either they make peace with you or you utterly destroy them. Uh, there is no other option. When the Lord their God was battling and, and fighting for them, victory was sure. It was just a matter of how they were going to have the victory. And as you go through there and, and you read that, you think, you know, that's the way that we should view our battles. The battles that we come across uh, e either every day or we come across, uh, you know, occasionally. The things that we come across, whether it's battling against sin, temptation, or just the trials and difficulties of this life, maybe it's something in connection to our service to the Lord. And we come across these, these battles, uh, quote-unquote battles, that we come across. I think perhaps too often we assume defeat. We just think, well... Because I'm being challenged, because the road is difficult right now, uh, we just get lost in despair. We think, you know, this is bound to turn out horrible uh, for us. But what if we had a Deuteronomy chapter 20 attitude? In other words, whenever we encounter battles, we just assume, hey, God's with me. I'm going to win this. I'm going to get through this. There's, there's not any question about it. It's not whether I'm going to get through it or not, and whether I'm going to be victorious over this or not. It's just a matter of how it's going to take place. And I don't really have to worry about all the logistics. I don't have to worry about, did I get this straightened out? Did I figure out this problem? Was I able to work out this situation? It's like, you know what? Even if those situations don't work out, God's got it. He's, he's in control. He's fighting the battles for me. Uh, I think that if we had a Deuteronomy chapter 20 attitude towards the battles, the challenges, the difficulties we come across in life, I think we go through life uh, with a lot more peace and a lot more uh, assurance, for sure. So, you know, as we read Deuteronomy chapter 20, take this to heart. And of course, we're not Israelites going into a land fighting a physical army, but we do have a, an enemy that is not flesh and blood, but is spiritual. That uh, We read about it in Ephesians chapter 6. And there are challenges. Life is difficult. It is hard sometimes. And there are times when people come up against us or challenges come against us. But let's just take it in stride and say, you know what? God's fighting the battle for us. We don't have to fret. We don't have to worry. We don't have to wring our hands or anything like that. We just say, we put, give it all to the Lord. Victory is coming in one way or the other. We don't know exactly how it will work out, but we know we'll get through it. And we can go through it with confidence. So with that, guys, I do thank you for watching the video today. Hope you guys have a great day. Love you guys. God bless.